Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to um, create a line of best fit or a what's called a standard curve on Google Sheets. Uh, last time I showed you how to create one on Excel, but this time it's going to be on Google Sheets. Okay, so um, open up Google Sheets uh, and then, you know, create your table like this. Um, if you notice that the concentration here, uh, you know, the words are kind of cut off, uh, what you could do is... Um, move your mouse cursor between the A and B columns so that it makes like a two-sided arrow and then you could left click and then drag to the right to uh, expand that column. Okay. What you can also do is uh, if you just double left click uh, between the A and B column with the icons like that then it automatically resizes it for you. Okay. So um, let's left click and drag and highlight all our numbers. Um, what you can do up here, this decreases decimal points, and then this increases decimal, um, sorry, I should say decimal places. So let's just keep it at 2 for now, okay? And then make sure everything's still highlighted. Go to the Insert tab, left click, and then go to Chart, and then the Chart pops up. Uh, since in the, it's in the way of your table right there, let's go ahead and move it to the side so you can see the numbers. Uh, these... Uh, this chart is not correct. Uh, this is a column chart. So let's change the chart type right here. Left click, scroll down to scatter, left click on that. Um, you'll notice that the data points aren't exactly correct. It's That's because uh, nothing is showing up on this axis. Okay, so let's left click this uh, grid button right here. Okay, and it asks you to select like, what data, select the range. So move over to your data right here, left click and drag the numbers that you want to include, and then click OK. And then for right here, it says series. Uh, right now we're showing uh, concentration and exorbitance. Uh, since we don't want to show uh, both of them, let's get rid of the concentration. So remove, left click and remove it. Okay, so now the table looks a lot better. Okay, um, let's go ahead and add the titles now. So go to the customize tab right here. And then let's go to chart and access titles. So let's go to chart title. Okay, so the type right here, we change the chart title. And then, then now let's change the chart uh, title text to standard curve. Okay, slash line of best fit. Um, since it looks a little plain, let's go ahead and change the color right here, the title text color, to uh, red. And then we can even change the alignment to the center alignment right here, so that it's in the center. And if you want it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller than that, you change the font right here. Uh, change it to like 16, so like it shrinks it. Okay. And then now we're going to add the axis title, so let's change the type right here to uh, horizontal axis title. Left click. And then the horizontal, that's going to be our concentration in milligrams per milliliter. Okay, let's change this to the font size 16, a little bit bigger, change that to, let's say, blue. Um, and then now let's change the vertical axis titles. This is going to be exorbitance. Oops, absorbance. And then we change it to uh, blue also. Uh, change the text to font size 16. Okay, um, so we're good with that. Um, now we want to go down to where it says horizontal axis. Uh, because the horizontal axis, the numbers, the increments right here are kind of off. Like we don't really see the starting point, zero, and then, then it jumps to 2.88, then 4.18. Uh, we want a nice, like, uh, consistent increment so uh, we'll go to horizontal axis and you'll notice that there's this box right here that says treat labels as text that's check mark so click on it so we uh, uncheck mark it and then now it should look a little bit different uh, we want to scroll down to where it says minimum values uh, basically this is asking for the bounds of uh, your the x-axis so we want to start off with zero so we click zero right there and then maximum value, if you look at concentration, is um, 
according to this, 11.5. So let's make it a little bit higher than that. Let's make it 12. Okay. And then there you go. So now the x-axis shows from 0 all the way up to 12. Okay. Um, now we are going to add the trend lines, okay, which is the, basically the standard curve slash line of best fit. So um, you want to go to series right here, left click, and then it says trend line, add the trend line right there. And then where it says labels, um, you want to add an equation. Okay, so uh, it'll give you the equation um, you know, right there. Um, so this R squared, basically if you click on this button, it just shows you the R squared value, which uh, shows how accurate your trend line slash standard curve line of best fit is. So the closer it is to the R squared value right here is to um, one or negative one, the more accurate it is. Okay, so this R squared value is like a 96.6% uh, um, accuracy. Okay, so right now we don't need the R squared value, so we're just gonna get rid of it since uh, it is taking up space. Okay, um, this equation right here, uh, this is actually y equals uh, 0 0.0594x plus uh, negative 0 0.0722. Okay, so what you could use this trend line, standard curve, line of best fit, to do is, uh, let's say that you have an unknown solution, um, you know, with exorbitance value of 0.4 right here, right? Uh, and you need to find out its concentration of that substance. Uh, you could if input 0 0.40 for the y value and then solve for x because the x value is basically just giving your concentration right here. Okay. Um, so again, so if you input 0 0.4 uh, for the y value and then you know uh, the rest of the equation x and then plus negative. 0 0.0722 okay and then if you solve uh, for the x value so just give me a second while I um, solve this so, two, two, so that and then So um, your x value should equal uh, 7.95. Okay. Um, so basically, what that means is, if you have an unknown uh, sample uh, with an absorbance of uh, you know 0 0.40, then the concentration should be uh, 7.95. Um, mill milligrams per milliliter. Okay, um, that is actually the theoretical. So we're just doing this based on um, the standard curve. Okay, and that's it. Uh, thank you.